Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking news out of North Korea. It's not good. A squad of North Korean assassins are reportedly hunting a high-ranking defector believed to have fled to the United Kingdom in February with a stack of cash and perhaps a trove of nuclear secrets. The man, identified only as Mr. Kang, was a colonel and senior counter-espionage official said to be in his 50s and reportedly defected during a visit to China. The colonel's responsibilities in the Hermit Kingdom included an order to monitor dissident and espionage efforts in Russia, China and Southeast Asia, the Telegraph reported. Kang is also considered an elite North Korean citizen. He is a direct descendant of Kang Pan Sok, the mastermind behind the guerrilla campaign against Japanese inhabitants in the 1930s, Fox News reports. Mr. Kang was a significantly important individual, often being called the Troika of the Foreign Counterespionage Office. He was in charge of directing intelligence and ground operations in Russia and China, and supervised the development of essential talent for North Korea's nuclear program by covertly arranging exchanges between Russian and Chinese scientists. Kim Jong-un ordered his immediate execution upon hearing news of the defection. Right after the incident occurred, seven agents were immediately dispatched with a mission of assassinating Mr. Kang. After returning empty-handed, three more agents were sent out, the source said. A source in Pyongyang who corroborated the details of the defection and assassination orders, said that ledgers that detailed activities and money earned in secret while abroad were discovered during the search, prompting an immediate summons being issued for Mr. Kang. Having a bad feeling about the situation, Mr. Kang then decided to flee, Daily NK reported. The Trump administration has been working to put together a summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in May or early June to discuss denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. During Thursday's White House press briefing, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders could not confirm the validity of Wednesday media reports that three U.S. prisoners of North Korea had been released, Breitbart reports. History will judge Trump not by whether he won a Nobel, but by whether he was able to stop North Korea from deploying the capability to destroy an American city with a nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile. If he fails, no prize will make up for the fact that millions of Americans will now be hostages to one of the world's cruelest tyrants. If he succeeds, he will be remembered as one of the greatest foreign policy presidents in American history, Fox reports. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.